The vacuum cleaner turned on you at 9 a.m. The blender threw a temper tantrum at 10 a.m. And the washing machine tried to clean the whole house at 11 a.m. Some days you really need Days of Our Lives, a daytime drama you can count on weekdays on NBC. Hi, I'm Phil Witt. Tonight, Holiday Inn targeted by protesters. We'll tell you why. We'll have the latest via satellite from Biloxi, Mississippi. Kansas City continues its pitch to the Presbyterian Church for its national headquarters. And tonight's TV4 Sports Telepoll asks, do you think the boxing titles should be unified? To vote yes, call 576-7111. To vote no, 576-7222. I'm Bob Phil. Cynthia Smith has tonight off. All this and more is next for you on Action 4 Nightcast. I think 4 has more because of its people. We've worked together now for several years. We understand each other. I think we have people who are concerned, who care about what goes on in Kansas City, who care about what goes on in the nation and around the world. And uh, I think that sets us apart. It's important to the viewer to get involved. We're involved. So it's, it's much easier if we're involved and we're tuned in uh, for the viewer, I think, to, to relate to what we're doing. And I think that's why 4 has more. Jaguar XJ6. What was one of the world's better cars has been substantially improved. World-class handling and ride and refinement, all in one chassis. And there's no question it's a Jaguar. The new breed Jaguar XJ6, the evolution of the species. Test drive the XJ6 sedan at your Jaguar dealer. From the Kansas City News Leader, WDAF-TV, this is Action 4 Nightcast with Cynthia Smith, Bill Witt, Dan Henry Weather, and Gordon Docking Sports. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Playboy, Penthouse, Hustler. You can't find those men's magazines at many Kansas City area convenience stores anymore. And the people who got those magazines removed from store shelves have a new target tonight, Holiday Inns. They want the hotel giant to quit showing sexually explicit R-rated movies in their guest rooms. Ron Howard reports the picketers began marching tonight. Holiday Inns, the largest hotel chain in the nation. It's been around for years. The clientele, a mixture of business people and families. The challenge, trying to serve them both. It's why the company started offering extra pay movies in the rooms, including nighttime adult-oriented flicks and why the National Federation for Decency set up nationwide picketing and is calling for a boycott of Holiday Inn hotels. Adults watch these films and get turned on by them. Uh, pornography is addictive and we're very concerned about what it's doing to the family and we would just make an appeal to Holiday Inn. As picketers march outside, inside, vacationing families pack the Northeast Holodome. Hotel manager Ed Mahoney says the hotel chain doesn't show any X-rated movies, despite what the picketers might think. The only movies we show in these rooms uh, uh, are rated R. They're shown after 10 o'clock at night, and they are, they are fully rated by the Motion Picture Association of America, which is basically the same movies you can see at any movie theater or rent at any video store. Mahoney says people would have a hard time tuning into the adult-oriented movies by mistake. First, you have to turn to the channel, then press a special select button twice a minute apart and parents still have the option of telling the desk to block out adult-oriented movies to any room. Most of the guests we talked to said they didn't seem to mind the movies. Watch them or you don't have to watch them. This is like in bookstores around town. Nobody dragging you to go into them. The picketers have had some success already. Holiday Inn quit showing unrated movies, and the company got rid of its 50% ownership of the High Net Movie Network last December. They say they have done enough already. They are a family-oriented business, and they intend to continue with the movies that they're showing at this point. Ron Howard, Action 4 Nightcast. The world's of fun Orient Express roller coaster still sits quietly tonight following a weekend accident that injured nine people. Investigators want to find out why one car rammed in the rear of another yesterday as it sat at the ride's loading platform.